rude, obnoxious, and an insufferable prick. All of these words describe one and only one contestant for Master Chef. Any guesses? Well, it's none other than this guy right here. Gloucester, Massachusetts, and I'm a stay-at-home dad. So, Christian Collins was a contestant on season two of Master Chef, and his journey on the show had plenty of drama to spare. From the start, Christian seemed like a nice guy. Outside the competition, he came across as confident, humble, and full of energy. Master Chef in LA. <laughs> Hello. I got something in the mail. But once the heat of the kitchen turned up, so too did his competitive nature. At first, Christian's confidence seemed like a good thing. I'm talking about the auditions when he came across as a really confident person from the very start. <laughs> if you ask me, his story with food was interesting and, you know, actually kind of cute. It's, yes. Let's go. I sure hope this doesn't awaken anything in me. Anyway, when Joe, Graham, and Chef Ramsay tasted his dish, oh man, were they impressed? Intense, and it's packed full of flavor. Good job. Thank you. Really good job. His dish was literally screaming confidence. You should sing like that dish sings. <laughs> and that's not all. The judges pointed out his dish to be extraordinary. So much so that they said that it could also be a winner's dish. Win monster shot. It really could. This is my dream. It was clear he knew his way around the kitchen and had the skills to back up his bravado. But things took a sharp turn really soon. Leo gets in the way. I think he's been given like a free ride probably most of his life. Yeah, Max was just another prick to be honest, but that's a story for another day. As for Christian, I mean, it was as if he had become a completely different person overnight. He started to act like he was the king of the kitchen, expecting everyone else to boost his ego and follow his lead. What used to be confidence now seemed more like arrogance and entitlement. On the mystery box challenge, he did not have to prepare a dish and is safe from elimination. His new attitude was not just irritating, it was downright horrible. He showed no respect for the hard work and skills of his fellow cooks, and this disrespect was shown in every interaction he had in the kitchen. Max. Many wondered what had caused this sudden change. Was it the pressure of the kitchen? Personal issues? Whatever the reason, his transformation had a significant impact on the team dynamics. Okay, like Tracy is a good cook. I don't think she has as much food knowledge as I do. Team challenges are supposed to be about working together, right? Well, not for Christian. Instead of cooperating and supporting his team, he went out of his way to sabotage them instead. All in the name of getting even that slight bit ahead of his peers. For example, whenever something went wrong, Christian was the first to point fingers and blame others. It was never his fault, and he made sure everyone knew it. I think it looks ridiculous. Sorry, I liked it. And that's where you kind of hit a wall sometimes. This constant blame game created a toxic atmosphere, making it hard for anyone to trust him or work with him effectively. He'd blame anyone but himself, making sure he looked like the hero who never made mistakes. I'm not telling you because I have this idea. I'm telling you this because I know this for a fact. It wasn't hard to see that his teammates were exasperated beyond measure. They dreaded the prospect of being paired with him, fully aware that any mishap would inevitably result in Christian making them the scapegoat. Yeah, when you literally need to walk on eggshells around your fellow contestants, I'd say the person responsible has gone a little too far. The atmosphere in the kitchen grew increasingly tense as Christian's toxic behavior cast a long shadow over the entire competition. I certainly hope I win today. Uh, I haven't won a box challenge in a little while. But I win everything else, so it's fine. While the other cooks endeavored to showcase their skills and contribute to the team effort, if applicable anyway, his antics made every task exponentially more challenging. Amidst the pressure cooker environment of Master Chef, Christian's negative influence loomed large, disrupting the harmony and camaraderie that should have characterized their culinary journey. Christian's always talking a big game, so if Christian's a badass, then he should be able to cook these uh, pork cheeks. But it wasn't just his teammates who felt the sting of Christian's attitude. Like this one particular event where he basically started arguing with the judges and disrespecting his fellow home cooks. The kind of bravado and attitude that spews from your mouth into your plate. The judges, particularly Chef Ramsay and Joe, weren't too pleased with him either. Whenever Christian received criticism, he would get defensive and refuse to take accountability for his mistakes. The judges aren't really liking my plating, and no, I don't really care. What's more, he had a hot temper and would lash out when others received praise instead of him. Call it envy, call it jealousy, or call it whatever you want, but the guy was turning out to be a total red flag. I'm gonna fight my way into the top of this competition. I anticipate taking Jennifer down. Like, what the heck, Christian? What were you thinking before saying all those things? But, well, his rudeness soon became the highlight, and this led to numerous heated moments in the kitchen, where tensions reached boiling point as the judges severely chastised Christian for his behavior. 
Chef Ramsay and Joe pulled no punches, delivering scathing critiques that left no room for misinterpretation. But it's also the one that I have a really great idea for. With each admonishment, they made it abundantly clear that Christian's attitude was not only unacceptable, but also detrimental to the overall dynamic of the competition, emphasizing the importance of professionalism and respect in the culinary world. How do you know? Christine is going... Damn. But Christian, true to his nature, stood firm in his conviction, adamantly refusing to concede that he had erred in his culinary creation. The tension in the room thickened as Chef Ramsay's reprimand echoed off the kitchen walls, his words punctuating the charged atmosphere. Is that confidence or just a bravado with arrogance? However, Christian's defiance remained unyielding, his unwavering confidence bordering on arrogance. It sucks to go home, but everybody's gonna have to go home except me at some point. Only one person can win MasterChef. And as the confrontation unfolded, onlookers held their breath, uncertain of how the standoff would conclude, yet captivated by the raw drama unfolding before them. Now, Christian rubbed pretty much everyone who was on the show the wrong way. I wouldn't doubt it if a few members of crew hated his guts, too. Yeah, cameramen, mic ops, the whole nine yards. I'd seriously kill for some inside baseball from this season to be made public. Anyway, it was safe to say that he made a lot of enemies in the MasterChef kitchen, and one of the most obvious ones was Jennifer, the winner of the season. Jennifer, if she didn't know how to make caramel sauce, she should have said something. They often went head-to-head -head in the competition. And he's still here. Why? Why? Send him home. Despite all this, Christian made it to third place in the competition, proving that he did have the skills to be a top contender. But there's no denying the audacity he had to question even the most seasoned chefs who hosted the show. It was really something subpar. We were very disappointed. I think you're on. I mean, can you believe it that he actually went against the approval of the judges and their choice of dish? The nerve, I tell you. I mean, it's not wrong to challenge someone if you think you are in the right and someone is clearly making an obvious mistake. But Christian was nowhere respectful about it. See, when Chef Ramsay asked Christian to take a closer look at Jennifer's dish, his intention was likely to help Christian improve by showing him an example of good cooking. I mean, fair enough, right? We've seen him do that plenty of times across all his shows. However, Christian's reaction was completely unexpected and filled with arrogance. As was starting to become his MO, he responded about as cockily as he could. Benefit, and I hope you see the difference. Christian's response was really surprising, especially given the context. Instead of taking the opportunity to learn from Jennifer's dish, he chose to be dismissive and rude. It's hard to understand why he would react this way when presented with a chance to improve. Chef Ramsay, known for his high standards, clearly wanted to push Christian to do better, but Christian's reaction showed a complete lack of respect for that effort. Pretty good. It honestly got kind of frustrating to see him deteriorate here. I mean, you all know me, I love a good bit of drama, but this? This was something else. Christian's reaction wasn't just about having a strong opinion, it was about being openly rude and dismissive. This kind of attitude doesn't just show a lack of respect for Jennifer and Chef Ramsay, but it also shows a lack of willingness to learn and grow. In a competitive environment like a cooking show, the ability to take feedback and improve is crucial. Look at me. You may want to be smart and start acting like an arrogant Christian's arrogance in this situation was a huge mistake. Joe made a very good point when he asked, who's the judge too? It's cooked perfectly and it's seasoned beautifully. Your mashed potatoes are bland. I mean, somebody needed to put a stop to this guy, but did he care to understand? It's quite doubtful. It tastes good. I'm not going to deny that it tastes good, but I have had better results. He didn't just stop there. He continued with his opinions. Am I going to stand up there and butter Jen's ass? However, his journey was a roller coaster of emotions and conflict. His cockiness and inability to work well with others overshadowed his talent, making him one of the most controversial contestants of the season. I mean, just like any other controversial chef, like Take Tali or Ryan for example, Christian had his fair share of haters and fans as well. While everyone acknowledged he was a great cook, they couldn't snap out of the fact that his arrogance got the best of him towards the end of the season. Like this viewer here rightly said, He's a good villain. He could back up his shit talk, but also there was some likability. Dude clearly had a rough life and has a big-ass chip on his shoulder. At times, he went too far, and I'm glad he didn't win. But given some of the other MasterChef bad guys, I think he's the best. While plenty of others were so completely done with the fact that he decided to lock horns with the judges. Like this viewer here who said, Difference is, those judges have years and years of experience and fame behind them in comparison to him. Christian's attitude became a pile of crap, and even if he's the best cook in the world, his horrible traits make it impossible to work together with a person like him. Unless he's cooking by himself, many PPL would just leave him in the middle of the biggest shit to suit himself if he's gonna be like that. Well, you won't catch me trying to deny that. 
because clearly his poor attitude was out in the open for all to see. But, well, despite that, some viewers think that he was set up by the producers to look like the bad guy. Just like how fans think Joseph Tinnelly was planted on Hell's Kitchen to help raise the dipping TRP, similarly, some of them think Christian just happened to be a pawn to draw more attention to the show. Listen, you chip idiot. I asked for one nominee and why? I mean, it's not unusual for the producers to keep the more notorious contestants on the show for longer just to keep the drama sky high. Take, for example, Tali. He didn't have even half the skills of Christian, and yet somehow, episode after episode, the dude managed to stay on the show because, almost always, there was that one other contestant who messed up more than him. We cling on to the hope of something just blowing us away. You've done it! Forget about talent. Tully had nothing to be proud of. He didn't even spare his own buddy Ryan, who eventually got the hint and sacrificed his own place for his dear friend. Anyway, I'll be going over more on the equation they shared in an upcoming video. For now, let's get back to where we left off. Christian and his overbearing attitude. Unlike Tali, who wasn't exactly the brightest bulb in the room, Christian actually had a witty side to him. Like, remember this one time when he said this? Susie, you're gonna lose it. <laughs> well, nothing screams awful more than this kind of behavior right here. He was always about that, I'm better than everyone else vibe. Well, sure. I've already said that before, his cooking skills were impressive, but his cockiness really overshadowed his talent. Talk about confidently rubbing people off the wrong way. A unique talent only Christian possessed. Christian? I'll go ahead to head right now. I know I'm a better cook than her. It didn't take long before his constant negativity and lack of empathy sent shockwaves through the kitchen. I love the fact that Jennifer stood up to him and was like, you suck as a leader, you're an arrogant bastard. To make matters worse, Christian didn't know when to keep his mouth shut. When the judges criticized his dish, he fired back without a second thought, his retorts dripping with defiance. I think you're wrong. I don't think my dish is the worst dish here. Astro's dish looked pretty He straight on defended his dish and even disrespected his fellow home cook. I'm a little nervous being on Susie and Ben's team. Susie's not the fastest duck in the pond. And he didn't stop there. I think at this point, the judges uh, been a little bit harder than, on me than other competitors because they, you know. His tone was laced with arrogance. His inability to accept criticism and his audacity to challenge the judges only served to exacerbate the situation, further solidifying his reputation as an unpopular figure within the competition. But Christian was determined to prove himself. Despite his bravado, Christian's attitude made it hard for anyone to root for him. His cocky comments and lack of respect for others created a toxic environment in the kitchen. The other contestants couldn't stand him, and even the judges were growing tired of his antics. You may want to be smart and start acting like an arrogant Christian's clashes were legendary, etching a narrative of ongoing feuds with nearly everyone. Adrian, Max, Susie, and a particularly protracted one with Jennifer. Arguments and confrontations became a daily spectacle, transforming the kitchen into a battleground rather than a sanctuary for culinary creativity. But across it, across it, the board, 200 kids, you're gonna not, have a kid that's not gonna like an onion. They're never even gonna know it's in there if it's shaved. Despite his abrasive personality, there were two contestants who appeared to endure him, Ben and Alejandra. Yet, even their tolerance had boundaries that, when crossed, threatened to unravel the fragile fabric of camaraderie within the competition. Despite all the drama, there was one thing everyone could agree on. Christian was an incredible cook. He was the most consistent and strongest chef of the season, shining in both individual and team challenges. His cooking skills earned him respect from the judges and even from his fellow competitors, albeit grudgingly. You know, really good color with the puree and, you know, an overall nice dish. Christian's dishes were undeniably masterpieces, crafted with a finesse that showcased his unparalleled understanding of flavors and a precision that few could match. His confidence in the kitchen radiated like a beacon, drawing admiration from even those who harbored disdain for his persona. And that's kind of the reason that the judges didn't kick him to the curb as soon as his attitude started to sour. Even if they hated to admit it, he was good. Really good. Proud. Thank you, Chef. Good job. Yet, paradoxically, it was his arrogance, not his culinary prowess, that emerged as his Achilles' heel, casting a shadow over his undeniable talent. Refusing to heed feedback or acknowledge his shortcomings, he remained stubbornly anchored in his convictions. This steadfastness, while admirable in its own right, ultimately thwarted his progress, leaving him trapped in a cycle of complacency. Instead of embracing opportunities for growth and refinement, he settled for a false sense of culinary superiority, his potential forever unfulfilled. In the end, it was this very arrogance that led to his elimination. In a crucial challenge, Christian's dish fell short and he couldn't see past his own ego to improve. The judges, who had once seen him as a potential winner, were disappointed to see him fail to grow. 
His elimination sent shockwaves through the competition, as no one had expected such a strong contender to fall so suddenly. In retrospect, maybe I shouldn't have gave Jennifer the mushroom. Back in the kitchen, the atmosphere shifted. With Christian gone, the tension eased, and the remaining contestants could focus more on their cooking and less on the constant drama. Christian's departure was a lesson for everyone. Talent and confidence can only take you so far. Without humility and a willingness to learn, even the most gifted chefs can find themselves out of the competition. I think we're seeing a lot of confidence in both contestants, and I think they've manifested what we've taught them here at MasterChef. Yeah. And looking back, it's hard to blame anyone for being shocked at his downfall. After all, he won the first Mystery Box Challenge of the season, claiming the coveted immunity prize, an achievement that set him apart from his competitors. Initially perceived as a promising contender with a commendable culinary skill set, Christian's demeanor began to shift as the heat of the competition intensified. His once amiable facade gradually crumbled, revealing a more contentious side to his personality. As the stakes grew higher, so did his propensity for confrontation, culminating in unprecedented clashes with the judges. Despite his early triumphs, Christian's journey in the kitchen became marred by controversy and conflict, transforming him from a hopeful frontrunner into a polarizing figure within the competition. After his stint on MasterChef, Christian didn't just fade into the background. He dove headfirst into the culinary world, hosting events like the Culinary Fight Club in Boston and launching his own catering business. One memorable moment from his shows was when he shared a fantastic tip about using garlic. Set it down and just give it a quick little... It might seem trivial, but his advice on infusing dishes with garlicky flavor without leaving behind actual garlic pieces was a game changer. He suggested using hand-crushed garlic cloves, which can be easily removed after they've done their job. Christian doesn't stop at practical tips, though. He weaves in the science and history behind cooking techniques, turning each presentation into a fascinating lesson. Uh, the more you chop it up, the more you break into the cells, you let the oils and the enzymes. Sure, he might come across as arrogant, but watching a man master his craft with such confidence has its own charm. His blend of practical advice and deep dives into culinary knowledge makes his shows both informative and captivating. Despite his arrogance, there's something undeniably intriguing about his expertise and passion for cooking. I love his Instagram posts, man. Take this photo, for example. No caption needed. The plating is so captivating, it makes you crave the dish instantly, and that's the mark of a great chef. His choice of ingredients is impeccable, leaving the audience absolutely enamored with him. But people had different opinions about how he was portrayed in MasterChef after the elimination of Max. Some even commented it was for the viewers to stick to the storyline. However, a lingering conflict resides within me, perpetually wrestling with opposing sentiments. While I undeniably admire his culinary artistry, I find myself grappling with his rudeness. Throughout his time on MasterChef, he exuded an air of arrogance, bordering on narcissism, which left a lasting impression. Someone even commented that Christian took the advice from the audition a little too seriously. Don't you remember? Sing like that dish sings. Okay. I mean, that justifies this comment right here. The question of whether we can separate the art from the artist is a timeless debate. Can we appreciate someone's talent while ignoring their personal flaws? This dilemma often pops up when considering celebrities and famous figures, especially in the culinary world. Imagine a brilliant chef known for their delicious dishes, but also notorious for a bad attitude or controversial opinions. Should their personal behavior affect how we view their culinary masterpieces? On one hand, some argue that art should be judged on its own merit. A delicious meal is a delicious meal, regardless of who made it. He, as a cook? Awesome. Confidence, well. Let's take it from this comment. On the other hand, others believe that an artist's personality and actions are inseparable from their work. But let's not forget, if a chef is rude or has done something wrong, it can leave a bad taste, figuratively and literally. But I don't agree completely on Christian Collins being an unbearable personality, though. Things are kinda exaggerated as everyone knew he was good at what he was doing. I mean, it's quite a feat to be both the best and worst chef of a particular season. So maybe let's all congratulate him on that. But well, that's just me. What's your take on the controversial character from MasterChef Kitchen? Do you think he's just too evil, or it's just the makers who did him dirty? Make sure to let me know in the comments down below. And if you thought the video was crazy, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on my post notifications. And hey, don't forget to check out this next video right here. It's even crazier.